In this session, we are going to solve the first problem in the Java lab. The first problem is taken from the part A, which uh, is very simple program. And in this particular program, we are supposed to create uh, a simple class wherein uh, we are able to accept the name of the student, marks in three subjects, and we are supposed to find the total average and grade depending upon the average marks. So it's a very simple program. Let me start the NetBeans and let me click on the file and uh, new project. I'm going to select the Java and I'm going to select the Java application as my program and uh, I'm going to give a name to the project that I'm taking and I'm going to say uh, going to give uh, the name as uh, student marks details you can give any name I'm going to give it as uh, student marks details you can give any name or retain uh, the default name supplied by the NetBeans I'm going to just finish it off and in this particular program, we are supposed to accept the name of the student and marks in three subjects. I'm going to store them in a variable. Okay. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to remove this remark statement and I'm going to create a string and I'm going to call it as a student name. After that, I'm going to take three marks as M1 comma m2 comma m3 i need to find the total so i'll call it as uh, total also i'm supposed to create a grade you know very well uh, average and uh, grade so i'm going to use the double as the average so you know very well when you divide the marks by three you will get the fraction and uh, i will create one more variable called uh, grade which is uh, of type string let's create uh, the first uh, part wherein uh, we are supposed to accept uh, an input from the user in order to input uh, get the input from the user i'm going to use the scanner class i'm going to type scann -N, and i'm going to press control space and uh, the netbeans will give me an option to use a class called as a scanner class from the utility so i'm going to press uh, enter here when you press enter you will notice one thing that uh, the net page has put an import statement suppose if you are creating the application in the notepad without using the net pins or notepad plus plus or any other software for that matter which is not uh, an ide in that case, you will have to type this import statement, import java.utility.scanner. I will take the variable name as uh, sc as my scanner. And I'm going to initialize it. Uh, and I'm going to say scanner is equal to new scanner. And it's going to take uh, the input from the keyboard. So I'm going to take uh, the input as a uh, scanner and a system now for those who are not familiar whenever i type something i press control space so if you press control space netbeans will give you an option as to what is uh, the possible thing so system dot um, in so you notice uh, netbeans is helping me with that so you have to just uh, type the ctrl plus uh, the space bar on your uh, keyboard and uh, whenever you are in trouble press uh, ctrl and uh, spacebar the netbeans will do the needful thing for you so this is uh, the scanner so let's take uh, the input i'm going to use s out this is a shortcut in the netbeans to get uh, the system dot out dot print line you have to just type s out and press the tab key so you you have the keyboard tab key is there on your keyboard so just type s out in small case and press tab and the netbeans will do the needful thing to you and i'm going to say enter 
name okay i will not uh, make larger thing over here now i don't want uh, it to go to the next line so ln means uh, it will take me to the next line so you know in your c program you have studied uh, this one slash n new line character so i don't want uh, the uh, this particular slash n to be added in uh, the program so i'm going to remove this print ln print means it will print it on the same line ln means it will take you to the next line i don't want it to take to the next line so i want it to stop by putting that uh, enter name then let me read the name yes name is equal to sc is uh, my scanner class so this is the scanner class that i have created sc so sc dot and i'm going to say next let me say next you can use control space and uh, line so next next line it will read one line at a time so you get next line so i have read the student name so it is very simple you first declare the scanner and then say scanner dot next line next i'm going to use s out and i'm going to say enter marks in three subjects again as usual one space here okay as usual i don't want uh, the new line so i'm going to just use print rather than uh, print ln so i got uh, marks in uh, three subject let me read the first mark m1 is equal to esc you know very well sc is my scanner class which will accept the input esc dot next integer because i'm reading integer i have declared m1 as integer so i have to read it as uh, an integer in the same way i'm going to read m2 and m3 i'm not going to type this whole thing again and again i will select this whole thing control c to copy and control v to paste you know how to use the control c and control v i'll make it as m2 this is my second marks and i'm going to read the third marks again control c and control v to copy paste it and you got uh, three marks once you get this three marks let's calculate the total so i'm going to say total is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 let me take the average average is uh, equal to total divided by 3.0 that will give me average now based on the average we are supposed to calculate the grade and you know very well if uh, the marks m1 m2 or m3 if any one of them is less than 35 if the marks is less than 35 then the grade is fail so i'm going to just say if m1 less than 35 or m2 less than 35 or m3 less than 35 if uh, any of the marks is less than 35 then i am going to say grade which i have declared here you notice that i have declared a variable called as grade here so grade which is of type string you notice uh, grade is of type string so i can assign a string to it grade is uh, equal to fail okay i'll put a semicolon else what is that i am supposed to say? else if if that is not the case if average marks is less than 50 so if the average is less than 50 so you have calculated average abg here average is total by 3 if the average is less than 50 then i am going to say grade is equal to third class you can use the other criteria but i would use the simple criteria that class else if again you are supposed to type the else if so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, select this 
else if average less than so i'm going to select this whole part else if part control c to copy so i copied it control c click here and control v to paste so i have just uh, copied this one and i have pasted it here i'm going to just make small changes here if the average is less than 60 then the grade is second class same thing i have already copied control v to paste if the average is less than 75 then i'm going to say the grade is uh, first class else the last part again again i'm not going to use the this one else grade is um, distinction so it's simple as that grade is distinction so you have a very simple criteria if the student fails so this is 35 sorry this is 35 if the student uh, has less than 35 marks in any of the subject then the grade is fail if the average that was calculated here if the average is less than 50 then it is uh, third class if the average is less than 60 it is second class if the average is less than 75 it is first class otherwise it is a distinction now once we complete the if part let's print out all of them so i'm using yes out and press tab so i'm going to say the total okay equal to and i'm going to use the total i've already calculated so this is an output i am putting total is equal to i've already calculated this total in the same way i am going to use s out and i'm going to say average average is equal to plus avg i've calculated avg here so i'm concatenating so this uh, avg i've calculated in the same way yes out yes out and i'm going to say grade equal to plus grade i have already calculated the grade depending upon the average marks i have calculated the grade now this looks all fine but uh, there is one minor correction i'm going to do it i'm going to first run it and then show you what is uh, that minor correction i'm going to do it so this is your program just to click on uh, this play button over here and uh, run this project you can right click uh, and also run this uh, so right click and run it is one and the same or you can just click on this play button and it's going to run it's going to show you enter the name okay and i'm going to say okay gopinath okay yes that's the name marks in three subject i'm going to just make a one subject as 32 which is fail next one is 45 next one is 60 one subject is less so the grade must be fail I'm going to press enter and uh, you notice the grade is failed. That's all good, but this part is not good. Okay, this is giving me very, very large uh, uh, fractions, which is not really a great option. So we are not supposed to show so many dot six, 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 six is not really required. So let's reduce that part. Only small changes we are supposed to format this one so i'm going to go over here where the i'm displaying this average if you notice wherever i am displaying this average average equal to so this part it is a fraction so how do you get this fraction very simple it's a string so you just type string dot format so that's the command string dot format and if you've studied the C program, so it is percentage 0.2F. This is same from the C program. I'm taking this from the C program. Okay. So then I'm going to put uh, this here. So this is what I have done, this part. So this average is formatted as 0.2 means two decimal places. This is 0.2F. You are all familiar for those who are not familiar point f means you know in c it is floating point point 2 f means this is two decimal places floating point as simple as that okay let me run it and let's see what is the output let me save it and just run it and let's see what is the output that i'm going to get so again i'm going to say gopinath s 
again i'm going to say one is 32 the rest one 45 67 whatever it is the marks is okay you notice what is the beautiful thing about it is uh, two decimal places after dot two decimal places this is what i am doing it after dash two decimal places zero zero not zero 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 and so many zeros small okay let me run it uh, for the other part i'm going to run it one more time and uh, this one uh, i'm going to say sureka sureka k let's say and uh, marks is let's say she has scored 67 56 93 i'm just putting some marks i don't know what is it all about okay so you get uh, total marks is 216 average is uh, 72 percent and uh, the grade is first class you can try it with the, all the other combination that's all in this short video thank you for uh, your interest we will stop the video now